Today we have Paul Figueroa. He is the CEO of PeaceEnforcement.com and he has over 20 years experience helping youth deal with anger, violence, and conflict. His work has been shown on the Today Show, has been featured on Radio Disney. He happens to be a very good friend of mine. Welcome to Take a Stand TV. So, Paul, a lot of what you do has to do with anti-bullying and anti-violence. What is it about working with youth, teen, what drives you to do this work? You know, when I was a kid growing up, I came from a pretty violent home. My father was fairly abusive physically and he left when I was about two, came back in when I was about seven and then something happened and haven't seen him since, which was a good thing. And what I realized at some point in my life, I decided that I wanted to create change and do something different and stop this stuff. And then I discovered, you know, I really love working with kids and I developed this violence prevention curriculum. It's just been snowballing ever since. It's been great. So what key obstacles in your life did you have to overcome before you got to where you are right now? You know, I think as a kid growing up, I valued myself. I had a vision of I want people to treat each other better. This isn't open. Then I had some beliefs about myself like that I mattered and I can create change and that I'm important, what I think is important. And it kept me out of a lot of trouble. I didn't do drugs, um, I didn't smoke marijuana, um, none of the other stuff because I thought it would jeopardize police work. So, you know, I have two kids. I have a five and seven year old. And when you go into schools and you're in front of all these kids, what gives you the right to be telling them how to behave, what to do, ideas? Well, I don't, I don't see it so much as a power or a right. It's more like, hey guys, here's some ideas. You know, I'm this old and I've experienced this stuff. Check this out. So how do kids react when you tell them how to behave? Not great. I mean, you think about it right now. If I told you how to be, how would that go over? Well, I'm an adult. I'm going to say, who, who the heck are you to be telling me how to behave? And the same thing happens with the kid. So if you're not telling them what to do, how do you influence them on what to do? So say we're talking about bullying. One of the first things I'll do is let's define it. What happened even if the person came over and pushed you? Do you have to push them back? No, but you might want to, right? And then you go through and you, you help the kids or help the people understand, here's how to do things differently. Here's some tools you can use. And then you splash in a dose of this is why people do it. So there's compassionate work with that. So you give them an explanation of, of how come people do it. Here's some ways not to. And then the next thing is to support them to change it. But have they done anything yet? Yeah. And even if they had done anything, is that about you as who, as who you are as a person? No, it's not. Do you see how that works? So we all know that kids want to be normal. They want to fit in. How do you train kids to stand on their own when doing so may make them actually stand out? You remember 10% of what you hear, 25% of what you see, and 90% of what you do. Mm -hmm. So what I did is realizing that, and realizing that's true with conflict or bullying or even perceived conflict, my brain will go into this fight, flight, or freeze mode, and part of me will stop thinking, and I'll go back on old behavior. Here you are, you're this person that's done nothing wrong, or if they had, either way, it's like, oh my gosh, there's a huge group of people. It's scary, isn't it? So they learn in the moment to do a different resolution of the problem. They're learning to do something different with their body, so the next time it happens, that body memory takes over. When you think about your curriculum, when you think about speaking with adults, speaking with teachers, training trainers. What difference has this made in your life? You know, I remember as a kid putting boxing gloves on and getting between my mom and whoever she was having the argument with. And what I've learned is, is that for kids, you don't need to grow up that fast and it's not your job. And I'm learning this as an adult now too, which is, is that to ask for help because you don't have to do it yourself. And it's not all one person's job.